Hey guys, it's me. Okay, so here's the garden thus far. Um, it has a fence around it because I'm gonna show you why. Um, we actually have some rabbits, um, but I have, I'm gonna show you those in a second. But okay, so this is pretty much what we have already. Um, it has a fence around it, so it's completely done other than you know taking care of it, watering it, and making sure no weeds or anything grow in it. Um, but this is the completely finished product. As you can see, there's everything. Um, we have squash on this end and this end, and we had to do it um, four feet apart, so we didn't know why, and we didn't really understand, I guess, because maybe the root system or something, if it would kill anything next to it, we just put them separately. So put a squash here, a squash here, and then these two are the same. Um, I don't remember what they are, probably like bell pepper or something. And then, oh no, bell pepper's there, so bell pepper's there. We did them at the opposite ends, and then the middles are different. Everything that needs a, um, like a, a trellis to grow on is at the side down here. So all my tomatoes, all of our little baby tomatoes, you can see them in there. These are all the baby tomatoes um, and all four of these. And it may look like a lot, but we actually do eat a lot of tomato and my mother loves green tomato. So I will be giving her a bunch. And this right here is going to be the beans so that the beans can have a trellis to grow up on this side. So this is gonna be the bean plant and you can put a ton of those close together and it's okay. So that's plenty of room. This is onion. Um, each of these is one onion. We only did five um, because we felt like if we grew, you know, it would be five. And if we did another one, it would be 10. And that one's actually, there's nothing in that one. We don't know what we're gonna put in there yet. Um, I wanted pumpkins, but we can't fit pumpkins in here, so he's actually going to do that a later day, and I'll film, you know, our pumpkin video, because I really do want to grow my own pumpkins um, by Halloween, and I would love to do that, but I don't know. We'll see what happens, um, but yeah, so that's onion. Um, I don't really remember what this is. I want to say it's cucumber. Yeah, that's cucumber, and that one's cucumber as well, um, so these are beans, tomatoes, and that's pretty much everything. And we're going to have to put in some sticks when these get a lot taller. Um, and I actually wanted to show you um, everything else. I want to show you also the rabbits, which we don't have any rabbits, um, but we have wild rabbits that are constantly in our yard. Here are the potted plants that are going to go on my porch. I think they're really, really pretty. And they'll add, you know, a lot of character to the front of the house because it's very bland um, on the front. It's just white and plain. So there are those. And then I actually have not put these in anything yet because we ran out of mulch. Even though we bought um, six bags, actually technically seven because we already had four. So um, we had seven bags and we still didn't have enough for those and my little pots, which are actually right there. Um, so we're going to have to put mulch in those tomorrow. Um, but this is my mint tree that I bought because my mint seeds did not grow unfortunately I was really upset but my lavender did so I didn't have to buy a lavender plant and it's cute it's a little it's gonna go in the smallest uh, faux terracotta pot that I have there's still two in here that are growing I'm sorry my hands look awful but I've been so like busy all day um, in here we have two little bitty sprouts and we're gonna keep those in there and we're gonna keep watering them because um, we want to see what they'll do and also we don't know what they are so we're not going to put them in a plot yet though we do have two plots that are empty still so that's good we have a ton of onion left over i don't know what we're going to do with all of this on all these onion bulbs because they're going to go bad we know um but we're going to hold on to them as long as we can i don't know we even actually put some in the back of the house over there um just to um, kind of see what they do because we felt bad wasting them all but i don't think they're going to do anything and then right here I have my rosemary. So whenever this gets big enough, I'm gonna um, dry it and obviously cook with it or do whatever, to tinctures or whatever I feel. So yeah, I haven't potted those yet, but I'll show you those at a later time. And then I'm gonna take you around to the front of the house in the front yard and show you. Just a second. I won't touch them or anything, but the other day, my brother was actually uh, mowing the lawn, and when he was mowing, he came across a little baby bunny. It ran out. Luckily, he didn't hit any of them. They're all completely fine. Um, and this is the patch. As you can see, it's really tall compared to everything else. It's like freshly cut. Um, but he came across this patch, and a little bunny ran out. And so he stopped immediately and found their little den right here. It looks like there is some grass in it but this is the hole to the den it looks a little bit covered up 
Um, but there was three baby bunnies in here, like underneath there, and I'm not going to open it because I don't want to touch them or anything, but I wish the hole was a little bit more opened up. But yeah, there were three baby bunnies in there, so that's their little den area, and there was one that actually ran out, and the one that ran out, it was so small, um, we had no choice because it got scared, and I, it, it looked like it was old enough to be out, but we were actually really worried about it, so... We put it back in the den. I had my brother, um, since he was cutting grass, he um, put the grass in his hands and made sure his fingers smelt like, um, you know, the grass or whatever. And um, he picked the baby bunny up and put it back. So it's okay. He put it back. Um, but yeah, we put it back in there. And that's pretty much it. But because the baby bunnies are in there um, and there's a brown one that's constantly out here, um, um, running around the like we'll come home from work at you know late at night and the bunny will be out here so but yes we just wanted to make sure that the rabbit doesn't get any of our fruits and vegetables or vegetables I guess I should say technically tomatoes or fruits I guess you could say that too um, but yeah so we just wanted to make sure it was safe and I will show you guys as this progresses but this is day one um, and I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you have any questions or anything you can just comment and I will answer them and I will see you guys later. Bye.